Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my video blog series. I am your host Nick Renard and today we are going to be talking about the benefits of using ad extensions in AdWords. Uh, towards the end I'm also going to review how to upload these into your campaigns through the AdWords editor and the AdWords browser interface. So let's get started. There's three types of extensions that I'm going to co cover today that I think are the most important. Um, the most beneficial thing about extensions is that they improve your quality scores just by having them in your campaigns. There's also some other side benefits, but that's that's the main one is getting those quality scores up. But um, one of the other good things about them, as you can see, I have some examples of some site link extensions here on the screen. Uh, you can see this Nike ad here. Uh, it, it allows um, people to, if they're looking up Nike and um, maybe they're only considered or they're only your customer is only concerned with uh, women's uh, the women's section or the men's section or the junior section uh, you can create site link extensions to so that people can click on those links to dive deeper into your site without having to um, click on the home page or wherever your URL is and having to dig around for it so it allows you to kind of have these little shortcuts for uh, people to convert and um, there's been studies Plenty of studies done to show that uh, the less that a person has to click around, uh, the more likely they are to convert. So it's in your best interest for conversions to be setting up these site link extensions because if they are clicking on a link that's more relevant to what they're looking for, then they're more likely to convert. Uh, one of the other nice things about site link extensions is that they, you can see here, uh, that they take up more room on the screen. So, for example, this Photoshop ad or this uh, Google AdWords ad, uh, it, it pushes your competitors' ads down lower if you show up on top of them. So it, it can have your it can have your competitors showing below the fold, which is pretty sweet because then your ad looks bigger and more noticeable and is more likely to get clicked on. The click-through rate will be higher, and yeah, just good things happen. So. Uh, the main th the main difference between site link extensions and the other types of extensions is this um, this descriptive text that you can add here. It's kind of like having a second ad that you can add to your campaign. So it it allows you to have more text, uh, more descriptions, uh, which allows you to you know promote certain sales, certain sections of your site without having to take up the limited characters that you have uh, within your within your main ad at the top here. Uh, <clears throat> the other difference is that you can actually click on these with the other kind of extension that we're going to go over right now, uh, callout extension. Uh, the main difference between site link and callout extensions is that callout extensions you can't click on. Uh, however, callout extensions, just like site link extensions, also increase the quality scores within. Uh, or they give more weight within the algorithm for quality scores so they're still just as valuable to have they still take up space so they still push your competitors ads down um, you can't click on them but the thing that I really like about call out extensions first of all they're insanely easy to set up actually all these are very easy to set up but call out extensions are one of the easiest uh, it also allows you to uh, lots of sites for example will have they'll um they'll have certain promotions that they just always have. For example, if you are an e-commerce site and you always have a promotion that says you get free shipping on you know $200 or more, let's say, uh, you don't necessarily have to keep that free shipping on $200 or more in your ad text. You can keep that in your call out or yeah in your call out extensions so that you can use your main ad text for things that are more relevant to the products themselves um, it allows it gives you a little more freedom to split test different lines of text uh, so call out extensions pretty close to the same thing as site link extensions in terms of what or how benef beneficial they are for a campaign. The main difference is that um, they're a little bit shorter, they don't have the descriptive text things that site links have, and you can't click on them. So let's move on from here to the last one that I'm going to go over, which is call extensions. Uh, these were implemented a while back. People used to want to put their phone numbers in the ads, but everybody was sticking their phone numbers in the ads, which is one of the main reasons that they created extensions in general, is that there are these types of things like free shipping on $200 or more, or buy one, get one free, or my, you know, click to call, or here's my phone number. All these things that people generically want to put into ads, 
if you're an e-commerce store or if you fall into that category like if you want phone calls you definitely want to promote your phone number in the ad so they added these extensions so that it's a little easier for you to implement this advertisement into your campaigns without having to use up the again use up the limited ad text you have within the ad so you can see here uh, call extensions actually show up best on cell phones uh, but they show up on desktops really nice as well if you've ever googled like a pizza place or something on your cell phone and it had this little uh, button where you could just press it and it uh, and it immediately calls them that's what a call extension does so it's, it's a link that they can click and it immediately uh, links them to the phone number that you have there and yeah it makes it a little bit easier for people to uh, find your phone number without having to click on the site and find it from there which makes it more likely for them to convert uh, so yeah that's about all there is to call extensions um, they're also very easy to upload they also improve your quality scores so definitely get them into your campaigns uh, so I want to show you guys some examples of how to upload these through the AdWords uh, browser interface and also through the AdWords editor interface so let's get started with the site link extensions here this right here is going to be the default screen when you open up your AdWords editor there's a little box in the bottom left that says shared library if you click that your shared site links will pop up right here which is where you're going to want to be adding your site link extensions and there's a button right here that says plus add shared site link and this is how we create site link extensions within the AdWords editor if you go ahead and click that uh, let's pretend that we run a, a business that sells uh, shoes let's say so we can create a site link extension so let's say we have a section on our site for you know flip-flops and sandals so flip-flops and sandals uh, you can insert your destination URL, so www.wesellshoes.com. And then, like I mentioned before, you can add description lines here. So if you have anything specific to the flip-flop and sandal section, then you, for example, if you have a, a summer sale or something, something going on, so let's say summer sale uh, for flip flops and sandals and the same um, the same 35 characters applies here so you can see it went over 36 here so I, we have to go down to the second line summer sale for flip flops and sandals get 30% off um, you know and free ship shipping no free ship and eh, it didn't sound great but you get the idea uh, so we can add description lines here and this is really nice because you may want to be promoting a sale that's only specific to one section of your site which in this example would be your flip-flops and sandals maybe you sell a lot of other types of shoes but um, this way you don't have to use up the ad text in your main ad you can just have this ad text show up in the site link extension and that way if someone does look up flip-flops and sandals uh, they can immediately click on this link and it will uh, direct them to that site so when we have this created and we've uh, we've added the the headline we've given it the destination URL and then we have the description lines that we like uh, the last thing that you need to do here is you need to associate this shared site link with the campaigns that you want to associate with associate it with so there's a little button up here that says plus associations if you click that little screen is gonna pop up here um, all of these campaigns are inactive but essentially what you would do is you would check the boxes of the campaigns that you want to apply this to uh, you can also apply it to ad groups as well if you want to do it that way um, but you would check the ones that it's relevant to hit OK and then you would post your changes and then that way whenever someone triggered one of those keywords within those campaigns your site link extension for flip-flops and sandals would come up alright you can also add these in the AdWords browser interface open them up here 
it's pretty much the same process. There's a little uh, add extensions tab if you click on the uh, the campaign that you're interested. So just click on any given campaign. Let's say we want to put it in here, uh, and we click the add extensions tab. There's a drop down box under view where you can select the type of extension you want to use. You would select site link extension. You can see there's some already uploaded here, old ones. Hit plus extension. Go down to plus new site link. And it'll have the same field for you to fill out here where you can put in your headline, the destination URL, the description lines. Um, set up any scheduling you want, uh, which is really nice if you want it. If if it is a like a maybe it's like a Christmas sale or something like that, you could have a start and stop date, so that way that uh, it automatically turns itself on and off, which is very helpful. So that's how you do site link extensions. Callout extensions are even easier than that. Uh, unfortunately, you can't. Uh, upload callout or call extensions in the new AdWords editor so you have to do this in the browser interface so if we go to the same view drop down box here and just select callout instead of site link this will pop up these guys don't have any callouts here so if we hit that plus extension again and go down to plus new callout uh, callouts you only get 25 characters of text but uh, you can really have any anything that you want written there uh, generally you want it to be like little promotions on your site so again like free quotes free consultations um, open 24 7 uh, 30 percent off summer sale uh, things like that that are just again they're just little call outs that uh, you would want any one of your given customers to have displayed to them so if, let's say we're promoting that 30 percent off sale 30 percent off sandals and Flip. Uh, we can't fit flip flops, but you get the idea. Um, so we could upload here. We'll just do 30% off all sandals. Something like that. I don't think you can actually use exclamation points, but we hit save and then you can see it's already added it here. You can add or remove callouts by clicking this little double arrow here. So there it's added, there it's not added. And the cool thing is is that it saves all of these. So um, if we want to go to another one of our campaigns here, right now we're in this DRA armor campaign. If we want to go to crossbows and archery, uh, we could add that same call out. It's going to save it. So we can add that here as well. It's really nice. Let's go ahead and remove that. All right, and then for call extensions, call extensions are about as easy to upload as call out extensions, except instead of entering a phrase, you enter a phone number. So we come here to the add extensions tab. Under the view drop down box, we select call extensions. Hit plus extension. <clears throat> and scroll down and hit plus new phone number and then you enter your phone number here you can choose whether you want to track through Google we actually use our own external third-party uh, tracking program for call tracking uh, but if you want Google to uh, track your number there are options for that here as well um, so we can enter in an example phone number so just a made up number hit save and you can see that number just like the call out extension pops up here and we can enable or disable that and that'll uh, show up across all of our campaigns so we can add that to other campaigns as well and once you select the number that you want you add it click save and then you can see that your campaign call extension whoop, hit save there we go and you can see that it shows up here. So now when people Google your ad, it'll have that little call button if they come from a, a cellular device or um, even if they're on a desktop, it'll have the number pop up that they can click on so they can find your number a lot easier. Anyways, that about wraps it up for 
extensions within AdWords. There's a few other types of extensions that I didn't review, so you can feel free to look into those as well, or I may do a blog series later on down the line about review extensions and app extensions and some of the other ones. Uh, if you aren't currently running any kind of extensions in your campaign, then I highly recommend you upload those as soon as you can uh, and start rotating them to get your quality scores up. And other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.